the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'd like to take this great opportunity to thank a man of God, Pastor Denis Amosemojong and our mom, Pastor Anne, for giving me the opportunity to bring to you the supernatural word for today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today is Wednesday, the 26th of May, the year 2021. The word for today says, always give thanks. Always give thanks. Hallelujah. The word for today is from the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 47. The book of Luke chapter 8 verse 47. And the Bible says, And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him, she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him. Hallelujah. A dear man of God, Pastor Dennis, then explains this to us, saying, God always wants us to testify of his goodness. Thankfulness and testifying connects you to greater works of God for your future. Think about what we read in Luke chapter 8. Of the woman with the issue of blood the Bible tells us in the book of Mark chapter 5 verse 29 that she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague thankfully at the question of Jesus she came out and testified before all people that had happened thankfully at the question of Jesus she came out and testified before all people what had happened to her. Why did Jesus keep quiet and let her go without testifying? It's because through your testimony, you preserve what God gives to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A father, Pastor Denise, makes additional emphasis on this text saying, we see another example when Jesus healed the demon-possessed man at Gadara. The Bible says that the man from whom the demons had gone out begged to go with him. But Jesus asked him saying in Luke chapter 8 verse 39 that return home and tell how much God has done for you. So the man went away and told all over town how much Jesus had done for him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. A dear man of God, Pastor Dennis, then concludes the supernatural word for today, saying, Take every opportunity to thank God and testify of His goodness to whomever, whatever, and whenever. Hallelujah. Testify to yourself. Testify to the angels. Testify everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The psalmist says in the book of Psalms chapter 107 verses 1 through 2. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our first meditation scripture for today is from the book of Psalm chapter 22 verse 22. And the Bible says, I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly will I praise you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A second meditation scripture is from the book of Psalm 145 verses 4 through 5. And the Bible says, One generation shall praise thy work to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We'd like to thank our father, Pastor Dennis, for giving us the one-year Bible reading plan. 
and today we are reading the book of 1 Samuel chapters 26 through 27 and the book of Luke chapter 21. Well, let's proceed to our prophetic declaration for today. I request that you lift up your holy hands and say these words in power. Say, the Lord has been gracious and kind to me. I will speak of his goodness and his miraculous signs and wonders in my life. I testify of his mighty hand on my job, business, finances, and every area of my life. I will shout it on the mountain top and sing praises everywhere. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's proceed to meditate on these words by speaking in other tongues. Blessing the name of the Lord. Leko sande kilibro de sata kalabaya. Brado sakitu lebradia. Rekete kele bosta. Radaga zonta kula prate. Igrane sonti la baboria. Brago sateliga radosa. Jakata katalabaya. Mende ribosa. Ligata le karade. Jakato sadiga rekota labaya. In Jesus' name. Shout, amen. 